Good morning and welcome to the B.F. Anderson Market Report. As we look at this long-term graph of the S&P 500 and we're comparing it to the 10-month to the 20-month moving average, we are on a very strong buy signal here after an extensive amount of consolidation for really the period between 2014 and 2016. Now, if you think about this for a minute and go back in time and realize that the market has been locked in a price box since 1998 and it really did not break out of this price box until around 2013. Now the last time this happened was between 1966 and 1983 and if you think about the importance of this it has to do with investor sentiment, it has to do with psychology. When you go through extensively long periods of time where the market really doesn't go anywhere, in other words between 98 and 13, the market was just stuck and basically moving sideways with a lot of volatility and a lot of bear markets. So what happens is, is that there's a lot of dry powder sitting on the sidelines. People are just not interested in the stock market. but you know, things change and good news travels fast. So as you can see here, we broke out in 13, but then stalled out around 14 and then started to move sideways. And since then we have broken out again. So you could kind of compare this also to 1995 to 2000. Now remember, during that period, uh, the, 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 between 95 and 2000, the S&P went up 250%. The NASDAQ went up 560%. We were in the dot-coms, we were in the Cisco's and the Amazon's, we went up over a thousand percent. So are we looking at a similar super cycle here? I think there's a very strong possibility of that. So let's take a quick look at the uh, speedometers. And as you can see, our hit ratio continues to stay very strong. Now we had a little bit of turnover last week. Uh, we, we basically added two stocks to the portfolio that we think are very promising and we're starting to move a little bit more towards China and emerging markets. We're seeing a lot of better activity there. Now on the trend following indicators, we are now at 80%, which we're up from 70% last week. However, the small stocks and the mid cap stocks are the fly in the ointment. They are continuing to lag, but I would keep a very sharp eye on these indexes would be like the Russell 2000. Because if that index breaks out to the upside, that's really going to confirm things quite a bit. Now, on the sentiment side, investors continue to be complacent. We're not, we're not hearing a lot of talk about the stock market. Uh, it's just, you know, the old story about Joe Kennedy getting a, a tip from the shoeshine boy in 1929 was the reason he got out of the market. At least that's how the story goes. And it just shows you that when everybody is positive and everybody is bullish, the market tends to form a top. But when everybody's pessimistic and they don't see any brightness in the future, that's usually a market bottom. So, you know, unfortunately, we can't seem to get investors to understand this, but that's just human nature. Now, let's take a look at the uh, watch list. Now, remember again, this is not a buy list, it's a watch list. We're continuing to see a lot of strength in the technology group. Now, NVIDIA is a really interesting situation when it comes to artificial intelligence. You know, with artificial intelligence, you have to have a brain, you have to have a spinal cord, and you have to have eyes and ears. Well, NVIDIA makes the brain, which is the graphic processing unit that is being used in autonomous cars. And I even saw the other day where there are farm equipment, tractors and combines and cultivators that are using artificial intelligence. It it's, it's definitely appears to me that this is a coming thing. I would even compare NVIDIA uh, to Cisco Systems 1995 because in 1995, uh, Cisco's stock basically tripled and was the big leader in the market in 95, which was the hint that the big thing coming was the internet. Well, NVIDIA has basically done the same thing, and we're thinking maybe the market's telling us that it's artificial intelligence, which I believe is the case. Now, Autodesk, again, we're looking at uh, you know engineering software that is cloud-based. Now, if you understand these cloud-based softwares, 
uh, it is really a growing trend, and it, you would especially see this with a company like Shopify and Activision Blizzard. Now, Tesla, uh, the stock is at all-time new highs. You know, we don't really understand Tesla. It's been a very difficult stock to invest in, but it's been the most interesting. So, you know, Tesla's making new highs looks good. We're seeing a lot of fives out there. No problem finding fives. So if you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you.